Hello, this is Dr. Kay Sweetser, and today I'm going to walk you through how you can download your Qualtrics um, survey data onto a Google Sheet and start to clean it. So here you can see we have a um, Qualtrics survey. Um, one of the things that I have gone through the Qualtrics survey and done is where I have words like uh, Likert labels, strongly disagree, somewhat disagree, um, all the way out to agree. When I click on the actual activation for editing this particular question, I've scrolled down in the left hand pane um, for this and I'm gonna go ahead and click on recode values and I've clicked over here this variable naming convention where I have um, instead of downloading strongly disagree and somewhat disagree and blah 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 into my data set I'm actually just gonna download a number instead I've only done this for the Likert items um, when it comes uh, for you know things like the demographics um, and uh, the yes no questions um, I do want those to still come out as words but for all of the scales that I'm going to end up turning, like this service usage scale, I'm going to turn this into an index. This dibs scale, I'm going to turn this into an index. For all of the scales that I'm going to turn into an index, I just want to make sure that they're going to download as numbers instead of words. And that's really the easiest way to go about doing that. So once I have that set up, I'll go ahead and come into data and analysis. And then I'm going to export my data and I'm going to put it on Google Drive. I'm going to stick with my um, general default options here, which is use the choice text. Because I did that little um, recode value in the last step, I don't need to say um, turn everything into numeric values. I've really controlled how I want it to download. So I'm going to go ahead and press export wants to know where I want to put it. I'll choose my Gmail uh, G Drive that I want to use for this and then it is going to download and give me the link to open it in a browser. So now here I have all of the data directly downloaded and um, it's a lot. It's really difficult for me to move through a data set that's so wide apart with um, these column sizes. So I'm actually gonna go in here and I'm going to uh, resize some of these columns and I just click on them um, to highlight the whole column and then I'm gonna right click up in the blue area and I'm going to resize the columns. I'm gonna make these like 20 big. Okay, that's awesome. And then now I'm starting my actual scales. You can see serve use one. I'm gonna go to the end and at the end here, I'm going to make these um, a little bit bigger than the last ones. I'll make them a 30. And uh, now I can see more of my data on the screen. Um, I've been doing a pretty good job of deleting out directly from Qualtrics uh, when there were people who like didn't fill something out, like right here, right? In Qualtrics, when I view response here, um, I can see this one. Okay, they filled out enough of it, um, so I'll keep it. But I do see in my data set that I've uh, missed this one right here. This is where the service you should scale begins again. And I can see that they didn't fill out anything. So I gotta just take this person out of my data set. And so I'll highlight the entire row and I'll delete that whole row. I can see there's another one down here that I missed. Not a big deal. Um, just go ahead and get rid of them. And now certainly there's people like this that only filled out uh, a couple of like the first scale and that's annoying. Um, but the first scale was my most important scale. So I'm going to go ahead and keep them in here. Um, so now the next thing that I notice is that um, these numbers in here, if I were to try to set up, like let's say I want to create a service usage, so that's these uh, four questions here, a service usage index, um, I think I'd probably have problems with it. I'll go ahead and do this at the end of my data set. I'm going to go and insert a new column to the right, so it'll be at the end. I'll put serve, uh, serve use, and then 
I come down into the first line of data and I'll type in equal sign, average, average will come up, I'll choose it. I'll make sure that I'm highlighting then just the data that I want to go into my service usage. I see that I have it from um, R3 through U3, so the four items for service usage. I'll press enter and it has this weird like divo error here. That's because, and I can see this visually, that's because for whatever reason, um, all of these numbered uh, numeral um, columns are just um, set up incorrectly when they came into um, Google Sheets. And so if I highlight the columns that are supposed to be numbers um, and I come up into um, format, and number and then instead of being automatic if i change it to number now i can see it has a decimal point on it right it, it just added in decimal points and if i look over here um, i actually have my index score of that first person was a 2.5 out of 5. Um, so i'm going to go ahead I, i've created that very first index score here all the way at the end um, and I'll make this a little bit bigger so you can see um, the column. I'll make him a 50 in here. Um, so I have, I have it all set up, as you can see, average equals, and then it's just doing that line. Um, you can notice there's this little like button or bulb at the end in the corner. Um, if I click on that and I pull all the way down, it's going to automatically apply um, to each line. It's going to copy the formula. What's really important about that is it's not a copy paste, it's a copying and pasting of the formula. And so um, that means that each line um, is going to be whatever number it was for that person. And it's not just a straight up copy paste because each person put in different numbers in here, of course. Um, so I would just drag that all the way down. And then I have the service usage index score for everybody. Um, so, you know, as I'm cleaning up and, and trying to figure out how I want to uh, do my dashboard and get everything together. Um, I, I have the two lines of data, these um, rows at the top, and I really don't want two, I just want one so I can make it a little bit easier to do this process. So I'm gonna copy both of these. I'm going to create a new sheet and I'm gonna paste them and I'm gonna call these the labels um, key so that I know what these different uh, you know, labels were in here. I'll insert a column to the left and I'll say that this is the short label name and this is the long label name. And then um, I basically know what was at the top. I'll rename this one to data. Um, I'll know what was at, uh, you know, that this is no SC underscore three and no SC underscore three is how much do you feel you know about the Screening Circle series at JMS, um, unaware to aware. So now that I, I kind of have like that key for um, what no underscore um, SC3 um, is, I'm gonna delete out the bottom column and it's gonna, it's just gonna be a little bit cleaner for me to be able to do my analysis. So I'm gonna create, here are the, um, sorry, uh, here are the service usage items, right? So those all become uh, one index score. So you can see those are over here. I would go through and I would find um, all of these uh, dibs items and I would create an index for the dibs items. And I would do that again at the end of the data set. And I would have this be for the dibs items and so on and so forth, where each of these um, uh, scales become their own index score. And then I can have an index score for each person. So just to show you that process again with the dibs, I will go equal sign, average. I'll choose average when it pops up. I'll find the dibs items 
which are going to be right here. I'm going to highlight those. I'm going to press enter. And now it actually said, would you like to autofill? And why, well, thank you. Yes, I would like to autofill. Um, so I didn't have to drag it down, although I could have dragged it down if I wanted to. Um, so I've already now created two different um, indices at the very end of my um, data set here. So the next thing I want to do is show you like creating a dashboard. Um, so if I want to know the um, overall, uh, you know, service usage um, index score um, or the overall uh, dibs uh, index score. Oh, sorry about that. Dibs index. Then um, I would come into this new tab where I'm going to have, I'm going to call this one my dashboard. And I'll just do equal sign, again, average. And then I'm going to be very careful where I click. I'm going to come up into the data and I'm going to say that one was the service usage. So I am just going to um, click on uh, this column right here. And I can see that my service usage index score is this. Now I'll try it again. I'm going to do uh, an average and I'm going to click uh, very carefully over into data. I'm going to find the dibs score. I'm going to click on that column. I'm going to press enter and uh, I have an error in here. Um, let's see if I can fix this error. Maybe instead of doing um, the actual column, I'll try it by the cell. So from cell BL2 to cell, I'll just say BL50. Um, yeah, there's something happening in that column. I just have to figure out what that would be um, before I went any further with that. Um, now I want to show you how you're going to parse your data. It's not enough just to say, hey, here's the overall um, score for service usage and not give me any idea about how different groups of people are different from one another. I need to know how different groups of people are different from one another because we're going to want to message to them differently. So I'm going to go and in my dashboard, I will do insert a pivot table and I'm going to find the data that I want to um, draw that pivot table um, data from. And so I'm in the select a range section. I'm going to very careful, carefully where I click, go down into data. I'm going to click up here in this little gray corner, click, and I'm going to say, okay. And then now where do I want to insert that pivot table? I'm going to do it on an existing sheet. And then I'm going to click on um, the location. And then I'm going to very carefully click down in the dashboard and I'm going to put it right here. And then I'm going to say, okay, and then create. So now what do I want my actual pivot table to look like. So let's say the rows are going to be major, the, the major uh, that people have in the school. And then the value is going to be, we'll say, our service usage. Now it automatically tries to make it the sum. You can see service usage um, summarized by sum shown as default. I don't want it to be the sum. That doesn't make a lot of sense. I want it to be the average. So fantastic. Now I see the average for each of the majors. But I have this like weirdness up in here. Um, so like this person did not give a major, but they actually did the survey. Um, and then we've got, you know, some error situation. So if you come into filter, um, the, the variable that's giving us those problems is the major. It's the one that is um, uh, notated on the rows. So you do filter major, and then you click on um, the, the little box here, and I'm gonna turn off the blanks, and then press okay. And notice now I have a much cleaner, better uh, table in here. Um, so now the service usage um, overall uh, index score here is 310, but here it was 298. And that's because some people did fill out the service usage 
scale, but they never told us their major and I didn't want to see the people who didn't tell us their major. So don't ever use this grand total as your overall total because we have further segmented where we're only seeing certain people. Um, make sure that you're just saying like, hey, the people who told us that they were advertising majors seem to use the services and resources of JMS more than the other majors. And the people who are media studies majors seem to use it the least amount. When you're talking about these numbers, this is out of a five point scale where three is neutral. So you would say that media studies majors um, have a low usage, that the journalism and the public relations have an average usage, and the advertising are average, but they're trending toward more usage. And of course, they do have the most usage out of all of the majors. So um, that is how you would set up your dashboard. You would do this with so many of your different demographic variables. Um, you can see that you have uh, like so many demographic variables with the yes and no's and race and all sorts of different things here in the data set that you can use. Now, the last piece I wanna walk you through is you have your beautiful cleaned up version, but now more people have filled out your um, your survey and you wanna add them to this. What you would do is that process of downloading it um, and then you would look to see who the last person in your cleaned up pretty version is. And then you would go to the next person in line on the version that you just downloaded and you would paste in their rows. Because we have made all of our new variables at the end of the uh, columns over here, when you paste in your new rows of new people, it, this is gonna be empty and blank. We haven't changed the order of anything in here of the columns, and so it's all gonna go pasted in the right area, and it's just gonna leave these blank, and then we would just drag these down and continue to fill out this information as new people get added. So I hope you enjoy your data analysis and um, get a lot of great results.